Okay, it's videoing now. I guess we can just walk around the house. Oh my. Hard to look at, isn't it? Well, it looks like they've cleaned it up. Oh yeah, they I was gonna them. get a copy of that thing there on the, I don't know what that is. Oh, they... I was gonna see if I could read it. it. Says this is not a notice of eviction rental or sale. Yeah, see when we lived here, this room wasn't on here. Yeah. My goodness. Boy, this house was built in 1950. Paul Kirkpatrick, my dad, built it. I'm going to step out here, Kathy, a minute. And okay. You mind if I get you standing there? No. Okay. I guess it's been vacated, hadn't it? Nobody living there? Yeah. Well, if they ask us what we're doing here, we'll just tell them that I was right. I lived here in 1956 until I went in the Air Force. I'm going to go down here and, and do some of the side of the house, too, I think. Look how the wood is rotted on that, on there, Kathy. I know it. I see it. Yeah. Oh, it don't look nothing like it did when I was here. No. Were these dishes here when y'all lived here? Uh-uh, no. Did Dale build that building back there? Yeah. Uh, he did. Yeah, he did. HughesNet, yeah, that's that used to be their internet, HughesNet. My goodness, it don't look nothing like. Y'all used to play down on the creek. Yeah. And just look at all those old trees, how they've grown up here. Good night. Unbelievable. Are you okay, Kathy? What'd you do? Trip? No, there's something in there moving around like a squirrel. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a squirrel in there. Oh, okay. It scared me. I heard some. I heard some kind of noise. Yeah, I think there's a squirrel in there. Boy, that thing is bad. Need a paint job too, isn't it? Oh yeah. Well, if nothing else, we'll get videos of the old home place anyway. Yeah. And that used to be the creek down there. I remember there used to be a barn down here. Yeah. No barn. My goodness. Oh, my. Look at this. Oh, unbelievable. Was that cellar there when before y'all moved here, Fred, or yeah. Kathy? Yeah. It was. Good night. Unbelievable. The squatters pretty well damaged it, didn't they? Yeah. I guess they moved in here, didn't they? Squatters or? I guess. That's what we heard. That's what I heard from my friend that works for me. Look at the mole there on the side of the, on the siding. Yeah, I see it. Good night.
And this is the old cellar when my is that the original cellar or is that yeah it is the original cellar me and Dale put the carpet on it and everything fixed it up but my mom used to put her potatoes in there uh to keep them from rotting yeah kind of in a cool environment yeah Well, they've got it locked so nobody can go in there. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like somebody's been in there cleaning up because Jennifer told me there was broken glass all in the floor and there's not any broken glass in there now. Look how that's rot rotted out up there under the roof. Yeah, I saw that. Where it's rotted out. Yeah, I saw that. If Dylan and me were young, we'd get the hold of this place and fix it back up again, but we can't. I think that's one of the things that bothers me most about getting old is I know that I can't do anything anymore. No, and you think about how long that's been since I lived here. Uh, 58, that was 66 years ago was the last time I lived here. Yeah. That's before I went in the Air Force. 1958 is when I went in the Air Force. Look at there, somebody's put some siding on there and they didn't even bother to match it. No. Yep, kind of, it's a lot of memories, but is that air conditioner they will put in, or? No, it looks like a different one. Oh, a different one? Yeah. yeah. Look at here, how bad, how bad that is. Oh, yeah, rotted out really bad, isn't it? Yeah. 308 North Clayton. Poor little old. 308. A lot of memories, mostly sad Both memories, though, isn't it? Both of my kids were conceived here. Yeah. Did did Dale build that fence, or? Yeah. He did. Yeah. He built the whole thing. Yeah, those people are, they stay inside up there. That's the way most, most of the city is. Nobody hardly gets out anymore. And they, they took that four-car garage and just ruined it by building that other thing on there. Yeah, and I remember that creek down there. There used to be a bridge. Look how that, look how that's grown up that's in the trees. Up. Yep. Don't even look nothing like it did when I was a kid. Dale, he widened this, didn't he? This yeah. drive. Yeah. He built all this, Dale? Yep. Yeah, and then to think he's not even able to walk, Harley. I know. Makes me sad. Sure is. Very sad. We built these cross ties here, put the study in. Yeah, I've got eight minutes on here. That'll make a pretty good uh, video and everything. I'm going to shut it off, I think. You want to wave guy by before I turn it off? <laughs> Kathy, just think this is where you uh, used to live. It's good to come back and visit. So I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. This is, used to be the Church of Christ when I was a kid. And now it don't even look like the same church. They've added, completely redone it. And they added a bunch of stuff over it. I wonder if I can go through that parking lot and make a U-turn. Okay, and that's where Ray Russell used to live there? Yeah, right there. 302, yeah. Is there an exit down here where we can get off? Uh, I think there is, but if we don't, we can turn around. Okay. I remember I mowed the yard here for the church one time when I was a teenager. I got four dollars for mowing the yard. <laughs> yeah, four dollars. No, right or left? Um, well, we're, where did you want to go now? I guess go back down towards town. So this this is uh. Go up there um, before you do, and uh, to that Mount Olive Church. I want to see where that little girl is. Okay. okay. If you don't mind. Yeah. Okay. Look at there how that house has gone down there. That's where old Lady Bannister used to live. 
Oh, is that right? Yeah. Dump Bannister, was that your name? Or? I don't know. It was Kathy uh, Morris's mother's mother. Oh, it was. Yeah, Wood Morris. I know Wood Morris, but oh, one of those Morris's. That's one of them cell towers over there, cell phone towers. off for a minute okay this is where the Ellis grocery store used to be back in the 1950s now it's, it's a residence a house I don't even remember what the store looked like but <laughs> yeah they've completely redone it completely redone it now we're now which way did you want to go you want to show that show me that girl's yeah, house or something to the left to the left uh -huh. right up here okay Goodness, I haven't seen hogs in a long time. <laughs> you there. Well, I'll be darned, yeah? Turn back to the left. To the left, okay. Yeah. This is Howell Street. William Street sounds familiar. Yeah, that's where Granny McCord lived with Williams and Clayton. Yeah, pigs in there. Yeah, pigs. I had not seen them. Oh, since I was a kid. Yeah, okay. 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 Yeah, okay.
chasing me or what? A dead end. I think I'll go back by that house, get that house I wanted to get. The car was behind me, and I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't stop because they were on my bumper. And then I think I'll end it. That that's a pretty good. Uh, quite a few videos we made. So. Yeah. Yeah. About all. About all we can do. Now everybody's paranoid and uh, afraid you're gonna do something to them and all that. Yeah, turn them in for something. Yeah, everybody's paranoid. Now, whose house was this? Well, Evelyn Coleman used to live there. She was a teacher up at junior high. Oh, yeah, and uh, the girl I went to school with lived here at this house, but I yeah. can't remember her name. Huh. It's kind of small, that screen, it's hard to, really hard to see what's on there. But boy, when you uh, put it on the YouTube, it's uh, really big. Yeah. Well, I think I will.